All right, today's video, a new addition to the automotive vlog car collection. 2004 Saturn Ion Quad Coupe. I really wanted to pick up like a 80s or 90s hatchback, like a Geo Metro or a 80s uh, Ford Escort hatchback or a Suzuki Samurai. Something fuel efficient. I feel like it's my social responsibility to drive one car that's fuel efficient and I found this car and got a kick-ass deal for it couldn't pass up this is the newest car I could obtain for about twenty five hundred dollars I think that's a killer deal for that new of a car and it's in really good shape I say a seven out of ten I mean you know you're not gonna get any cheaper for the money so let's go with a total walk around here. I think it's a really good looking car. We're going to talk about some of the damage in a second. But it's nothing bad at all. It's uh, very happy with this car. Not sure on the mileage yet. I just got it right now. Just one of those spontaneous things. Hung out with a friend and said, hey, I have this car I want to look at. You want to come with me? So my best friend, it was like 40 miles from my house, so it wasn't too far. This is it right here. I got to get this part. What the hell is it called? Go ahead and let me know in the comments. What should I Google or eBay find this part? It's on the other side of the car. That and... Oh, one thing I hate about this car if you open the door even without the key in the door it has that stupid chime I'll demonstrate that later I don't know wants to see a demo of that but I'll do it later it's pretty clean could use some cleaning need some floor mats and then here's another thing the shift knobs kind of ugly so how do you replace that in a Saturn for any of you Saturn fans I mean how the hell does this thing come off a little wear on the shift boot nothing too bad little wear here what I really like about this car it's like a two-door but a four-door it looks like a two-door but it's actually a four-door I think that's really sharp cleaned it up a little bit that's therapy for me just cleaning up a car so I cleaned it up as the best I can no cracks on the dashboard overall very nice so um yeah what's this called man got a really good deal I talked them down a little bit see the tint they peeled off the crappy tint job on this thing and then the few imperfections like this right here the the shift knob well, it looks like a dog chewed on the shift knob or something yeah it's not perfect but the paint's really nice no oxidation nothing paint's really good and then small uh, small dimple right here no big deal the lights need a uh, like a restoration not too bad I think that's it oh yeah and uh, right here a little damage right here but all in all really nice paint I mean stand like this far and it looks like a perfect car so uh, I hate this part yeah this is awful see the keys out why does it do that but yeah there you have it not too crazy about the center mounted gauge cluster and there you go got myself a Saturn man just like my buddy Jay Moyet, fellow Saturn owner. Now we're like Saturn brothers. AC is ice cold. That's one of the main criteria of getting this car. If the AC is ice cold and it drives really good, I'll buy the car. That's what I told the dealer. So everything checked out. I talked down on the price a little bit because of the. Yeah, that sucks. I talked down on the price a little bit. Because of the little things, like I said, it's not perfect. And then 
the engine's really dirty. So I told the dealer, listen, man, I know this car has been sitting for six months. I'll give you 2500 bucks right now. And I got the car. But it runs great. I bought it like about 40 miles from where I lived. Drove it back. I mean, the car wasn't warmed up before I arrived. I didn't tell the dealer which car I was going to look at. But the car was ice cold when I got there. Like, you know, just sitting there. It started right up. No problems with the drive. The temperatures weren't high or anything. So it just seemed like overall a solid car. Got a one month warranty, 1,000 miles, so it's something. Hopefully the car doesn't break down after a month. But it feels good. No leaks, no nothing. Smooth transmission, it's a nice little car. So if you're a fellow Saturn owner, if you, or if you know about Saturns, what do I need to know about these cars? I just know to watch the oil consumption. Just watch the oil consumption pretty much. And other than that, I've uh, read that these are very solid cars. Alright everyone, kick ass. Oh, actually, how could I not start the car up? Let's go ahead and start the car up. Alright. Fire this thing up. 2.2 liters of fury. Right, right on. Yeah, sounds good. Nice and smooth, nice and quiet. 168,405 miles. But I've seen Saturns with like 250,000 miles on them. No check engine lights. No nothing. That's just a brake light right there. There you go. Listen to this. Yeah, I'm not going to put a muffler on it or nothing. It's just a commuter car. Save the planet. Get 30 to 40 miles per gallon. Hopefully closer to 40. Alright everyone. Kick ass. Be safe. And take it easy.